For the past eight weeks, we've been in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. We are so lucky to call this place home and to ground ourselves before we take off on this epic adventure. Absolute stunner of a day here at Tongoyo. So flat, sun's gonna come up on the east coast. We're in for a goodie. This is what fishing's all about, moments like these. We want to soak up this time at home as much as possible because we don't know when we're going to be back next. I am off to the local farmer's market to buy some fresh produce. It's a really beautiful place and it's one of our favourite things to do on a Sunday. So naturally, we decided to go to all of our favourite places and we're going to take you with us on this adventure. And although we will show you some of the highlights from our trip, this video will also serve as a reminder that we can't take life for granted and to be grateful for our time on Earth, as things can change dramatically overnight and be completely out of your control. Sir Chris Hipkins has extended the state of emergency for another seven days after Cyclone Gabrielle hit the northern parts of the island last week. Our Sydney correspondent Phil Mercer has the latest. Didn't fall over. Whoa. You're grinding it. How's this for 6 a.m. in the morning? The legs and the lungs are definitely burning. We're nearly there. Just a little bit more. Oh. And we got to the top. What a view. Ah. It's got to be the best. A little bit windy, but we're going to get the drone up because, you know, got to capture these scenes. It's just too good. All right, that wraps up our filming here at Waipatake. We had the whole beach to ourselves this morning, caught a lovely sunset, and now we're off to a new location. Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna fly the drone through some trees or something and see if we can get a cool shot up here in the bush. We did just have a go flying the drone, but inside this forest area, the GPS signal wasn't that good. So, um, not too sure how the, the footage is gonna look, but we had a go. It's quite beautiful in here though, so it was nice to come check it out. So I party here was so unreal this morning. Lovely sunrise. We're now on our way to some beaches further south. Um, and on the way, there's actually an unreal spot to jump off um, a waterfall. So we'll show you guys that too. That was epic. We're now gonna go under the waterfall and take you guys with us. How good is this? So good. Right, touch your balls. Putting it on. I'm with the whole stay, guys. It's the place to be. 
Alrighty, so our morning continues. We have swam at Mariah Tocha Falls. That was awesome. And now we're on our way to Waimatama Beach. Um, we're pretty keen to try and get a drone shot of Bear Island, uh, which Jacob could show you right now. Out the window. Um, yeah, so we'll try to fly the drone over there, but um, Waimatama is one of our local beaches here in Hawke's Bay. Um, a popular spot. There's a shop down there where we get some food. And the sun's out, so we thought, you know, why not go swim in the waves and have a bit of fun? So, we just arrived at Waimatama, and Jacob's setting up the drone. It's a beautiful day. And mission is fly to Bear Island. Up, up, up. Yeah. So we've just arrived at our friend Rudy's house. He's uh, just down the road from Waimanama and he's got like a freshwater stream that we can swim in to get the salt water off. So we're about to do that now. So I'm not in my usual attire, but nah, it's going to be a good day, eh? The weather's supposed to be mint. Um, hoping to you know, catch some fish on the kayak with Jacob. We're going to take you on that adventure with us. Let's go. What have we got here, mate? Some premium cultures. A few big snap on those today, I reckon. And then uh, some good squid. Big kingy on that. <laughs> For sure. That's uh, basically guaranteed right there. Uh, guaranteed. Why do, we ice? why do we have salt ice? Oh, keeps the fish cold for longer. <laughs> <laughs> next year. Woohoo! Yeah! So sick, man. Oh my god. They're literally just cruising next to us. Alright, so we got the first fish of the morning for me. Here we go. Big kawaii. Big kahawai. And I think Jacob's up to number four, so he's actually beating me, but this is a good size. It's a great size fish. Vamos, let's go. All right, number two. We have a nice wee snapper here on the line. Nothing too crazy in terms of size, but it's a bloody good eating cloth. So we're stoked about that one. We got a good fish on here, guys. Oh, at the moment I can't get him up. He's just fighting me like a beast. Hoping it's a kingfish. Could be a shark. At this point we don't know. But when he wants to go, he goes. Probably got a little bit too much drag on him. It's a kingy, I think. Yeah, it's a kingy. It's a kingfisher. Let's go. 
That's the colour we wanted to see! everybody it is a beautiful day today it is Sunday in Hawke's Bay and I'm off to the farmers market it's a market where we can buy our local produce um, it's all fresh it's all beautiful and it's on a Sunday so that's what we're doing today Jacob's in Wellington catching up with some friends so it's just me but yeah I'm gonna show you around and yeah you're gonna love it Do you want a feature on the video next to the Fijoa sign? <laughs> Alright, and I got my juice, so I'm a happy man. Now we're just cruising around the stores, checking them out. I think I still gotta get some food, but how good. This is unreal. So we're looking at the best bacon and egg sandwich on planet Earth. Wow. Or buddy, bacon buddy, whatever you call it. So that's my breakfast for Sunday morning. Nice. Do a bite. Take a bite? Yeah. And then rate it Please don't let the egg go everywhere. No, it's like a 9 or 10 out of 10. Everything's fresh. It's beautiful. And that is that. The Hawke's Bay Farmer's Market trip is done. I'm satisfied with my juice and my bacon sammy. Uh, we got to, you know, listen to some beautiful music and yeah, just, you know, absorb the smells and uh, good vibes from the market. So, unreal, unreal. We are here at the, uh, I think it's the Total Total car park. Bit of a climb from here to the top. Let's go. Still for sale. Yeah, one wants to buy the car. <laughs> All right, and we're off. Um, Tomato Peak is really cool because it has this really nice uh, moldy legend behind it. And it's about this giant called Rongokako. And he basically took a bite out of the land um, to free up a passageway between his tribe and the one that was on the other side. And it's a story about love, but basically he ended up dying in the process. And 
when you look at the mountain from a distance it looks like a man is lying flat on the ground and so they call Tamata Peak the sleeping giant um, named after the Rongo Kako and yeah it's pretty cool it's a pretty special story that's a part of Hawke's Bay and a part of us and so yeah we feel very privileged to be on this walk and to be showing you a little bit you know of the scenery and yeah pretty epic best start to the day man yeah best start to the day win the morning Starting to sweat, getting the drip on. Pretty humid day here in Hawke's Bay. Solid 28 degrees, it's good stuff. Yeah, and the sun's not even out, which is crazy. Oh, thanks, We've decided to stop here, see if you can hear this. What are they, Robbie? There are cicadas, there's probably cicadas all around the world, but like when I think of Hawke's Bay, I think of cicadas. That's how you know it's summer. It's popping off right now. We'll just be quiet for like five seconds, eh? Just... Sensational. Unreal. <laughs> I haven't lived in Hawke's Bay for a few years now and I used to do this all the time but I didn't realise how fit I was. This view though. So that's wine tasting wrapped up. We got Tomato Peak in the background. I personally loved it, loved the experience. What about you? Yeah, it was unreal. If you ever come to Hawke's Bay, it's definitely something you guys have to check out. What's up guys? We are now in Amsterdam. We want to wrap this Hawke's Bay video up by quickly reflecting on the flooding. Um, it was absolutely devastating for our region. Fortunately, both of our families uh, were fine, however, there's some pretty tragic stories out there and yeah we just on reflecting we just want to sort of um, pay respect to those families who are going through a lot who have lost a lot um, and also I think it's just awesome to think about how grateful we are 
to have this opportunity to travel, um, to be best mates overseas, living the dream. Um, anything you want to say? Yeah, just never take anything for granted and go get those dreams, guys. Yeah, go live your dreams, guys. Over and out. Oh, yeah, and it's snowing. It is snowing. Look at this. It Insane. is snowing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go.